another episode of Coin Talk with the Hollenbecks. I'm Tom Hollenbeck. And I'm Hannah Hollenbeck. We're here in Colorado Springs, Colorado, a and and coin capital of the world. Today, we want to talk to you about scrapping gold jewelry. The brief description is what does a coin shop see when someone walks in with their gold jewelry or gold things? And is it gold or is it not gold? How do you determine those things? Are you sitting on some money? First things first, you want a strong magnet to go through your scrap gold. Something like a car engine magnet. Harbor Freight sells them like five bucks. Got to be stronger than a fridge magnet. Yep. Second thing is we're going to look to see if it's magnetic. So if you bring me a piece of gold and whoop, it sticks right to my magnet, it is not going to be gold. Yep. If, if, if it sticks like that, don't even bother. At this point, it's not gold. So like this little batch. Take a look at all this stuff. It looks shiny. Ooh, camera blacked out. Looks gold, looks beautiful, but is it really gold? So take that magnet and just go across nicely. See if it looks gold. When it sticks like that, you know you can get rid of it without having to worry. If it doesn't stick, that doesn't always mean that it is gold. Just because it doesn't stick, it could also be copper or silver. Most gold is in uh, three forms for the United States, 10 carat, 14 carat, 18 carat. Uh, some of the Southeast Asian and, and Middle Eastern gold is 22 or 23 carat. What is 14? It means 14. Pure gold is 999 or 24 carat gold. 14 carat is 14 24 or about 58% gold. 18 is 18 24 or about 75% gold. Uh, 10 carat is the lowest carat gold. 10 24 are only about a 51 or 41 and a half percent gold. The next thing, if you bring me scrap jewelry, is I'm going to be looking for that magnet, that marking he just said. So I might take a look in it and see, does it say 10K? Does it say 417 for that percentage of gold? Big red flags that we're looking for, HGE, heavy gold electroplate. No good. What's yep. another one? Another one like this one right here, if you pull out a magnifying glass, it says 120th 14K GF. That's 120th of carat, uh, 14 carat gold filled, which basically is a fancy way of saying gold plated. So that one does have a minuscule amount of gold, but you have to have like a five gallon bucket worth to even have, you know, a few hundred dollars. So not really worth much. Not that one. Not girlfriend gold, but gold filled. No way to extract that gold. A little hint, whenever you see like class rings, fraternal rings, uh, like this one was for Kirby, uh, so or things like that that are uh, basically giveaways. Something that somebody has uh, that that uh, they, they had bowled a 300 game and they get a, a 300. Those are always 10 karat gold. And if they're marked 10, 10 karat, they probably are. There's not, we don't see a lot of fake ones of those. Exactly. Sometimes if they're unsure, they might ask to do an acid test. They'll make a little permanent scratch. Always make sure they get permission first so they're not ruining a family heirloom. And they'll drop a little bit of nitric acid on it. If it bubbles up green, not gold. So with your permission, of course, what Tom is doing here is scratching the item with a metal file that does leave a permanent scar, pops a little bit of an acid on there, and oh no, it is bubbling up green. So that's something that he's going to neutralize the acid now, make it safe so it doesn't eat into your fingers, and he's just going to pass back to you. There's no way for us to get the gold from that. Sometimes you'll see 14kp, which is plum. So sometimes a 14 KP means it's dead on. Sometimes 14 karat, most of them don't say that. If it says GP, gold plate. So you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, anything with those letters, gold plate, GF, gold GP, HGE, are all bad letters, but sometimes there are a maker's initials on there. If mine said HH, could be good. Yeah, the most standard like wedding rings, uh, she was starting to show this wedding ring. Most wedding things, uh, both men's and women's, they're almost always 14 karat. If it's marked 14K and something like keepsake, that's probably pretty good. But we'll show in a minute how we test them with a XRF machine, which is basically an x-ray machine. 
One more thing, if it says just a company brand on it, or like Avon, or it says it's from Korea, if they can take the time to stamp Avon, they could have taken the time to say 14 karat gold. Probably means it's not good there. Probably about 10% uh, of all the gold we see in that is marked 14 or 18 uh, it's, it's just not gold. It's fake gold. And uh, those, if they could make a fake Rolex, they could make a simple stamp that, stamp that marks it 14K. Here's like a Southeast Asian. This happens to be from Thailand. This is a uh, 15 grams. It's called a bot chain. This is good gold. It's about 23 and a half carats, so darn near pure gold. So that stuff is pretty good. This is usually given away by its clasp that kind of looks like a little snake or dragon there. That's kind of the marking of the of the bot chain. So if you have something like that, worth getting checked out. So this is a necklace and it's coming out one carat or it's mainly nickel, copper and about a 6% which tells us it is absolutely gold plated. Gold plated. It needs to be a minimum f around 40% there but that's not what's coming up there. We would just give that back to you. Your local place should be determining it, determining it at a value of the current gold's market. Pawn shops typically offer 50% of melt. You want to go higher than that and you don't want to send your your good gold in a miscellaneous envelope in the mail. I did a commercial about that when I was probably in like the seventh grade or something, but you want to know exactly what they're doing with your stuff, weighing it in front of you and making you a fair offer and you can always say no. Hey, I hope you learned a little bit from this video. If you did, like this video, uh, subscribe to our channel, comment below what you want to learn about next. We're more than happy to show you the stuff that comes into our shop, teach you a little bit about what we see. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.